everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. We're on a great day. Today we have a lot to talk about regarding the all new Ford Mustang. Now if you haven't seen the official reveal or all the coverage on it, uh, make sure to check out our last video for um, like 25 minutes, I think, of nothing but the new Mustang. With the Ford team announcing all the special models coming out, also the customization, this Mustang has taken leaps and bounds in terms of the, uh, the fit and finish of the interior and customization for um, Ford Mustang. The best part about it is that we actually got to see not just one new variant, but we got to see the GT, also a new track car for us who want to drive our street car, also on the racetrack. And then we got to see all out race cars designed for a return to Le Mans, or Le Mans, however you want to pronounce that one. Also. NASCAR, you, you name it. This Mustang is going worldwide and I cannot wait to learn more about it. But great thing is we actually have a lot of new info about this new dark horse that hasn't really been covered yet. Um, and we're gonna break it all down today in this video and find out well, what makes this new Ford Mustang dark horse so special or so unique and different in terms of the, the five liter Coyote lineup. The all new Ford Mustang Dark Horse is not just about styling. I think the styling, from what they're explaining, it's trying to amplify and express all of the performance changes to the car. The all new Ford Mustang Dark Horse comes with a bold shadow graphic that surrounds the LED headlamps, also new and unique gloss black grills with new nostrils in the middle and then a new lower front bumper with high gloss fangs they call them. New side skirts on the side, a new fixed rear wing, a new race inspired diffuser, darkened quad tipped exhaust. All of this is designed to amplify and express again the car's track focused design cues. With this new dark horse model since it is not a Shelby and they're creating Creating a uh, brand new nameplate for the Mustang lineup, they had to also create new badging for this special edition. Therefore, the dark horse is actually another horse, right? But it's facing directly at you to be more aggressive and forthcoming to uh, visually separate it from other models. Badges are placed on the same spots you would find them with a Shelby or other model, that being on the fenders, the trunk, the door sills. However, there is a dark and anodized version of the pony logo up front. The badging is also featured in the interior with the display clusters, also instrument panels, and each one gets a, a chassis number. So yes, they are numbering each and every single dark horse to help with the exclusivity factor and possibly help with value. When your car is badged, it's pretty cool because you can get car number 42 down the assembly line or 51 or 200. You know exactly which car your car is in the order they were built. What I really do love about the dark horse is this really mean and sinister blue ember metallic paint. There's a lot of flakes in it from what I can see in the photos and also the video. Depending on light, it'll change the overall tone and the colors uh, projected from the vehicle and the paint. Then you have a choice of painted or applied graphics along the roof and down the hood in a variety of colors and styles. I wonder with the painted options, will they be significantly more expensive? I know with our 2020 GT500 carbon fiber track pack, the painted stripes are about $10,000. I wonder if they're gonna go that far with this model. Lastly, you have an optional appearance package, which includes dark, notorious blue Brembo brake calipers, what they're called, with a bright grabber blue logo. Anyways, let's break down the performance of this car because that's exactly what you want to hear and for all of you who also want some amenities with it um you do get a new B&O sound system that gives you 12 speakers and a subwoofer to me I'm not too interested in that I could care unless I want to listen to the exhaust of the car in terms of horsepower and engine performance this vehicle does have 20 more horsepower than the standard Ford Mustang the standard Ford Mustang has 480 this has got 500 and to get that new horsepower, this new V8 in the Dark Horse includes a dual throttle body intake design to improve engine breathing. Plus you have new open nostrils on, in the front grille. There's also design upgrades from the GT500 implemented into the Dark Horse. Going into the engine block itself, you have new modified piston connecting rods 
first introduced in that almost 800 horsepower Shelby. This is the pinnacle performance offering Ford has for the five liter Coyote, which is interesting in one front because um, the, I thought the Mach 1 was kind of the pinnacle from the Coyote, but now this has overtaken the Mach 1. You're probably wondering what else is special about it. You just get 20 more horsepower and tons of d design cues. Well, it doesn't end there. This car can get the same exact wheels from the Shelby GT350R and GT500 carbon fiber track pack, plus the same wheels off my Corvette Z06 coming in. Full, pure carbon fiber wheels. Now, I'd expect this option to be right around $10,000 looking at a Mustang GT with carbon fiber wheels. I mean, that is gonna be so crazy. I thought it was just gonna be a special limited uh, performance offering from the Shelby nameplates or the more uh, limited model series, but it looks like Ford is taking the extra step. They want this vehicle to um, have even more performance with lightweight wheels that lower the rotating mass to give you better handling for the corners, also better responsiveness. I think they're a um, noticeable upgrade. It's not gonna night and day change your vehicle to the same point of adding like 50 more horsepower, but if you want to uh, lower the weight feeling of your car, less rotating weight means you get to put in less effort to slow down the wheels, for example, from spinning. All right, so far it looks like it's a pretty noticeable upgrade from the GT. Now let's check out the new transmission that's featured in the Dark Horse. It differentiates it from the other models even more. This is what I'm very excited and proud about. This Dark Horse Mustang comes with a Tremec six-speed manual transmission. This is straight out of the Shelby GT350R essentially, possibly with active rev matching. It's gonna feel so good on the racetrack. The feedback again and how sharp this transmission is. This is a track ready, track focused transmission that is also very smooth and comfortable to drive with onto the street. The feedback is nailed. With this new transmission, you also get a 3D printed titanium shift ball. Obviously with a more performance layout, you would need more cooling. For the track, the Dark Horse does come equipped with a transmission oil cooler. You won't have any of the issues that the Mustang PP2 had, where if you took it to the racetrack, the transmission, I believe it was the transmission, I think, would overheat and the car would go into limp mode. If you are opting for the 10-speed automatic transmission, uh, it does come with sport paddle shifters for a more precise and easier shifting. Now, obviously, when it comes to making a track car, you need a well-rounded performance vehicle where that lap after lap, you don't just have great cooling, but you need to be able to rely on your braking system. Ford has included new brake cooling ducts, an auxiliary engine oil cooler, a rear axle cooler, and a new unique and lighter radiator with improved track performance cooling. Lastly, the cooling fans are even more powerful to improve the endurance and recovery. Suspension's been upgraded even more from the standard GT model, which includes unique chassis tuning, larger rear sway bars, and heavy duty front shocks. You have Brembo six piston brakes up front. Regarding the suspension components, the Mustang Dark Horse does come with Magneride Standard. To keep the vehicle pushed down onto the ground as hard as possible, there's a handling package for this Dark Horse Mustang, which gives you a new gurney flap and improved aerodynamics throughout the vehicle. The handling package also adds stiffer springs, larger front and rear sway bars, and wider Pirelli Trofeo tires. These will be much more sticky, and the wheels are even wider. 19 inch wheels by 10 and a half up front, and then 19 by 11 inch wheels out back. Those are very wide wheels. This is the first ever Mustang that is offered with carbon fiber wheels other than the Shelby models. Therefore, you can get Pirelli Trofeo R tires with carbon fiber wheels, stiffer springs. I mean, the entire setup seems uh, pretty capable. I can't wait to see lap times.
And as you'd expect for the interior, they found a way to uh, bring some new styling cues like blue uh, indigo accents for stitching all throughout the interior. Your gauge cluster has dark horse badging. I'm actually a big fan of that 12 inch display right in front of you with the 13 plus inch display to your right that's stacked. I mean, it's very cool seeing the future of how high tech all these new cars are getting. The displays, uh, especially for track use, will come in handy. This right here is my big concern, the weight. This car weighs 3,868 pounds. The convertible weighs over 3,900 pounds. Therefore, this is gonna be a 4,000 pound Mustang when you have a driver in it, and especially if you have a passenger in it. Uh, and I don't know, they haven't said whether the 3,860 pound um, weight figure is for the standard dark horse or the dark horse that is equipped with carbon wheels or just the wider stock wheels. Um, if you got the standard uh, handling pack without the carbon wheels, your wheels do get widened. Therefore, I would expect that the weight figure would climb a little bit more. Please let me know in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts on this all new Ford Mustang Dark Horse? Is it gonna be a proper track car or will it be merely just track capable? We're gonna find out. We're gonna put that to the test. Stay tuned. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button to help me out and subscribe for much more great content coming out your way and smash that notification bell so you're up to date with all the new videos coming out. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Stay tuned for much more great Mustang coverage. Yeah.